from the spiritual realm is it sets your intentions of what you want to manifest. The problem is a lot of us, we're so busy hustling to get where we want to go where you haven't taken the time yet to picture it. Come on now. Amen. <clears throat> Come on now. Can I get you to believe that the imagination is more powerful than your hands and in your feet? So you got to, you have to have a paradigm shift for what I'm saying because, you know, it's one of my favorite saying is for those who have an ear, let them hear what I'm saying. There's different levels of what I'm saying. Your imagination and your vision is way more powerful than your hands and your feet. You've been in the opportunity long enough to see that when you just move your hands and your feet, nothing manifests. But when you put it down on paper, long documentation, when you speak it, right? When you see it every single day, when you humble yourself and you get around people who have manifested what it is that you desire to do, for some strange reason, it's the strangest secret, success happens to be the progressive realization of a, of a worthy, worthy idea. idea. Watch this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, watch this. I realize it's not that people aren't successful in this industry because they're not working hard. So I'm here to talk to the people that's working hard and you can't shatter a glass ceiling. I'm telling you, you have to visualize it. You know your mind is going to take you wherever, wherever, wherever you think about it. Some of you gotta go to work when you get back. Some of you thinking about how much money you spent when you came here. So you think about debt, you get debt. You think about going to work, you go back to work. If I think about- You better super say it, girl. Billion, I'm gonna be a super affiliate. If I think about going to 50, I'm gonna go to 50. So what we understand is none of us are more qualified than the next. You have to tap into the power of your imagination. Everyone in the room is overqualified.